In 1972, during the restoration of the Great Mosque of Sana'a, capital of North Yemen, workers discovered a mash of old parchments in a loft between the inner and outer roofs. The entire load was stuffed into some 20 potato sacks, where it might have remained were it not for the arrival, seven years later, of Dr. Gerd Puin, a German scholar and Quranic expert. Puin immediately grasped the significance of the find. Working with a team of local assistants, he carefully prized the layers apart and fired off thousands of photographs. Four fragments immediately caught Puin's attention. They contained the first and last chapters of the Quran, and unlike any other Qurans in existence, they were illustrated with architectural drawings of mosques. A vital clue to their origin. Man kann eben diesen because of its drawings, because of the art historical context, you can date this Quran very precisely to the time of Al-Walid. This is the reign between 705 and 715. The oldest datable Quran in the world, created some 70 years after the death of the Prophet. From the potato sacks, Puyin identified fragments from nearly a thousand different Qurans. Comparisons between them and the standard Cairo text in use today are startling. These early texts are written in a kind of shorthand with no vowel markings or distinguishing dots, which means that individual words can have up to 30 different meanings. Is it really so that man through the sheer existence the sheer existence of so many different possible readings would suggest that this text wasn't passed down word for word. The text isn't as stable as it seems in the Cairo version. There was another important discovery amongst the Sana fragments. The application of simple forensic techniques revealed earlier texts that had been washed off and overwritten. Although the hidden text revealed no contradictory meanings, words had been changed, verses and whole chapters rearranged. If his researches are correct, particularly on dating, it suggests, in fact, that the Quran was not a single part after a single entity that was fixed by 650, but actually developed much, much later, hence the uh, overlaying of texts or written materials.